So we're going to do this same program, but we're going to add that line follower. See at the top, I set up with the line follower, sensor line follower. I called it George. Call it whatever you want. Um, and then that while loop, instead of while one equals one, which is forever, I told it to go while the sensor has a certain value. That's the hardest part is messing with the values to get it to do what you want it to do when you want it to do it. The line sensor values go from zero to 4,095. It's basically an infrared light detector. So it's looking for light and dark. If it's infrared, it's looking for kind of heat, thermal. So here's what you gotta do. You got, I unplugged the program from the computer again. You need to turn it, I already ran the program, so I know you need to turn it off and then turn it back on again for it to get ready to run the program again. So it's ready to run the program again. You see it's doing our on, doing our off. My lights are going. Now I'm gonna cover up that line follower. And try and get the paper to stay there. There we go. Okay. And it's running the program and it stopped because now the value dropped below what did I have it set for? 3000. So it's not running the pro program anymore because it hit that while and it kicked out because we went below 3000 so it's not going to run the program anymore because I covered it up. Now uncovering it's not going to do anything because the program's over. Where I put that sensor value is run the program while this is true and it's no longer true so it's not run the program anymore. So that's a way to use line follower with the while. We can use it with untils and other things also. It's a matter of finding the value that works.